All right, guys, here she is. I'm finally done with the 1982 300 SD. It's been a couple of months on this car because it was just such in such incredible original condition that I just wanted to have it absolutely perfect. Um, I'm just gonna walk around the vehicle and read off the list of what I did to the car while I had it in the shop. This, this car has 93,000 miles on it. Um, let's see, we'll start new tires, upper oil line, lower oil line, left and right tie rod, center link, replaced both ball joints, did the front rotors, uh, put Bilstein HD shocks, sorry for my shadow you guys, uh, put Bilstein HD shocks in the front and the rear. The HD shocks, I need to take that old American flag sticker off of there. Um, sorry for leaving that on there, guys. Anyway, you want to do the HD shocks because it gives the car so much better handling. Um, I've tried doing these cars with the regular, like, recommended Bilstein shock, and there's way too much body roll. When you do the HD shocks, they are so much nicer. Um, let's see, transmission filter, transmission gasket, engine mounts, wheel bearing seal for uh, just the new wheel bearings on the front uh, driver and passenger side, uh, oil filter, power steering filter, air filter, fuel filter, pre-fuel filter, uh, restored the Becker radio, um, re-glued any of the trim that was starting to come up from the dash that's very common on these cars the uh, wood trim will slowly start to peel up from the dash so I re-glued that um, I did a wheel alignment uh, restored and refurbished the Hirschman antenna removed the seats and re reattached the uh, seat recline cable reinstalled and wired the original radio and speaker wiring and there's videos on all this on the website guys uh, did a valve adjustment valve cover gasket and lubricated the throttle linkage so <laughs> that's uh for example look here when we look under it the suspension stuff's brand new under there i did not cut any corners look at the wheels on here i did not refinish those those are the original wheels I don't know if I had if I had a car for 40 years I don't know if it would look like this these some of these original owners are just I mean that's incredible how do, how do they keep their cars I'm assuming they have multiple cars and and these are like summer vehicles or something but uh, let, let's step inside and take a look at this well first take a look at the chrome sorry I'm, I'm right in the way of the camera but the chrome is flawless there's not any chips or pits it's not oxidized look at it around the window even the chrome for the antenna it's absolutely flawless look at the uh, cladding in the bumper let's go around to the other side so I don't have the Sun behind me here look at that chrome up here look at that look at the head <laughs> I sound like that video would you look at that um, the headlight bezels, there's no cracking or chipping. Uh, even the rubber gasket around the turn signals. I could probably clean this up a little better. There's some bug marks on there. Guys, this, this car is absolutely beautiful. Here you go. Let's look at this cladding. Let's see if I can turn my light on here. Look at the original cladding and the chrome above it. It's flawless. This is all original paint, guys. This car has not been repainted. There's the original striping put on by the factory. Oops, I don't know if I cleaned in here. Oh, I didn't clean the dirty diesel. Uh, it's always real dirty in there. I'll go ahead and clean that up. Oh, look, the original grommets. Somebody had to have replaced those. I'm sure the owner replaced those. That keeps the door from slamming. Yeah, I'm sure the owner replaced those because on my daily driver, those rotted out years ago and I had to replace them. But yeah, th this car is just, it's incredible. All original paint. 
Okay, here's the trunk. Um, here's some, I guess, floor mats they had. They had in there. It looks like there's three of them, so I guess they had an extra one. I haven't vacuumed back here. Sorry about that. Um, let's look at the. Oh my God! Look at that. That spare. That's never been out of here. That thing is perfect condition. I've actually never looked under there. Here we go. There's the original tool kit. The original jack. Yeah, that's immaculate. I'll leave it in there. Normally, I would uh, want to take it out and keep it to use on another car, but yeah, that just uh, adds a nice touch to this car. Um, trunk is all in excellent condition. There's my fingerprints all over there. Uh, the trunk light. There we go. Still lights up. Uh, let's talk about the gaskets. Um, the windshield and the rear window gaskets are incredible. Super soft rubber. This car was obviously never parked outside. All right, I'm not sure how the shadowing is right now. This is the killer part. This is brown leather. Look at that. Look how soft it still is. There's not a mark on it. If you saw in the other videos, uh, it was covered. Um, it had a, like a sheepskin cover on it on both seats. Look at this one. There's not a, there is not a flaw or mark on the seat anywhere, even the armrest. Sorry if I sound so excited about this car, guys. I'm just, uh, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, look how red, uh, or I guess not red, it's like whatever you, color you want to call that, but look how bright the needles and all the dials still are. There's the mileage. Look at that. I think I had 92,000 when I picked it up, so I put a little bit of miles on it. And the dash. Flawless dash. Look at the wood trim. It's beautiful. Sorry, there's some shadow. That's the original Becker radio. You guys saw that in the video. Here, let's look at the uh, headliner here. Flawless. This is a beautiful vehicle. And I have, I have covered every little detail for the things I've restored. Just because I wanted it to be absolutely perfect. Here you go. Look at the rubber around uh, the door. See how it's still flexible? It's still in excellent condition. Watch how the door shuts. See, I replaced um, these guys, which help the door shut. Those are always corroded and are not corroded. I'm sorry. They're like... The, that rubber turns brittle and just breaks apart. But watch how the door shuts now. Perfect. And guys, I'm not a professional detailer. I mean, I just washed this uh, outside the shop and, you know, old school car wash. I haven't, like, done any special treatment on anything. Look at the nets in the back of the seats. They're not all sagging and ripped and stretched out. First aid kit, never open, still in there. I wonder what's in this one. I've never looked in that one. Yeah, that's just the storage compartment. Um, all the interior lighting works. The reading lights in the back. Let's walk around to the other side. Oh, here's another thing. Um, around all the doors, this like felt wind lace material. Normally, not normally, but on a lot of cars, you'll see it's ripped and peeled back, exposing the rubber uh, gasket underneath it. There are no rips or tears in any of the wind lace. It's perfect condition. The, uh, there's some water where I just washed it. Um, so these are like a vinyl uh, molding around the doors. Normally this is wrinkled up. Um, a lot of people just rip it off and it's body color underneath. Look at the condition of this. 
there is not a wrinkle or a mark anywhere on it even down to the chrome trim let's go look back here I mean same condition this is I mean, I would say this is as close as you can get to a concourse car. Um, there you go. There's some natural wrinkling. See right there? Some natural wrinkling on the... Uh, that's it, guys. I mean, this is absolutely the top-notch condition if you did any kind of rankings on a vehicle. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if you would call it concourse. Um, underneath there the uh lights where you open the door to get in they're all still working again the door shuts well you can see the what are they called courtesy lights i guess courtesy lighting let's go get back in the driver's seat and do the windows and the sunroof and all that oh check this here's the uh original key they have it in the original mercedes little key holder Thought that was pretty cool it also comes with the let's see what do you call it the chauffeur key yeah here we go there's the chauffeur key and then there's a spare key let's see it's in the glove box here oh that's the original documents um looks like some extra fuses oh look at that those are the old uh tape head cleaner for the uh, becker radio pretty neat here we go let's uh let's give it some accessory power here and uh do the sunroof i probably should crank it so it goes full speed let me just go ahead and crank the car bear with me there we go sunroof i lubricated the sunroof tracks um everything worked perfect on the sunroof check the windows over here let's go ahead and shut that all right we got the passenger window oh also replaced the uh, mono valve that uh, controls the heating and AC not to go into too much details about it but it, it control it helps control the climate control system and this car is still an R12 vehicle it actually has a brand new, I'm just showing you guys all the windows. It actually has a brand new, um, there's water from where I just washed it, AC manifold. And there's the, there's the back window. All the windows work. Got all the warning buzzers, all the lights. This is a done car, you guys. Let me shut this hood right anyway there she is guys i mean i've got uh what is there a five part series on all the restoration and work i did on it to make it perfect and it really doesn't get much better than this this is one of my favorite cars i love the gold uh exterior and the brown interior i mean if that is if that's not 80s i don't know what is this is uh easily one of the nicest 300 sds around uh, you would be hard pressed to find anything nicer than this. I'm sure you could find those unicorn 10,000 mile cars for, you know, $50,000 or whatever, but this is about as nice as it gets. So enjoy. Here you go, guys. We'll just do a little test drive back to the, uh, back to the shop. I actually forgot to put my dealer plate on the car. So I hope I don't get pulled over. Shifts super smooth. I mean, it's just, it's, it's a great car, no issues. Looks like there's traffic. We'll, uh, we'll go the other way and I'll show you the acceleration. Um, we're almost up to, to full temp. It's usually a little over 80 is full temp. But uh, 
Oh, I also cleaned the fuel sending unit. I forgot to say that in the walk around. I guess you, you've seen the restoration videos. Here we go. We'll, we'll put the pedal down here. Perfect shift. This is not a slow car. A lot of people talk about, yeah, there we go. There's 60. A lot of people always complain about, oh, the OM617, it's slowest car in the world. That's just because they haven't driven a good one. When you adjust the valves and the engine's super healthy and in good shape, uh, these cars are great. They're not slow, they're, they're just right. They're all you need. So comfortable. I drive the, uh, you know, I have some pretty cool 240Ds and 300Ds, and don't get me wrong, I love those cars. Um, I've had some coupes, some wagons, but the sedan, uh, the 300SD is where my heart is. That's, uh, I drive a 1980 every day. Uh, this is an 82. I like the 80, 81, 82 models. I know the 80 is a different chassis number, but uh, I just like the sedans. They're big they're super wide they're way wider I think six inches wider than the 300 D and doesn't sound like much but it makes a huge difference in interior room and uh, they're smoother they're quieter they handle you know everything about them is better I mean that's why it's the S class and you know the S class is it's just a superior vehicle um, so anyway, there's my, uh, there's my little rant about the 300 SD. So let's hit the kick down right here. Here, kick down into gear. The kick down switch is, uh, working great. There's no problem keeping up with traffic. You can cruise these things 75, 80 miles an hour. They're, they're fine. They're built to run like that all day long. Let's turn around here and head back to the shop. All the blinkers, all the, the turn signals, everything works. They turn on a dime. They're the, uh, the turning radius of the old uh, Mercedes is better than any modern car by a long shot. Uh, I think these cars took, it was maybe uh, like nine or 10 degrees caster. Uh, and literally you can turn around and basically your own footprint. Um, great turning radius. Let's, let's hit that kick down again here. There we go. Working great. Very, very strong OM617 engine. As it should be. It only has 93,000 miles on it. There is nothing worn out whatsoever about this motor. My daily driver has 180,000 miles on it. And, uh, you know, you can feel the difference. A 93,000 mile uh, 617, they're a little peppier. It might have a second on me on the zero to 60. It's just, uh, you know, lower mileage engine. I'm just back at the shop and I got out to open the shop door and there's my daily driver. That's the 116 chassis. This is the 126 chassis. Uh, so you can see that mine's the same color as this car. Anyway, just wanted to show, I've been driving that thing for 10 years. Man, they're great cars. Anyway, let me get this video done. This is a great one. Um, I'll have it listed. Uh, I'll have it listed on the site. Well, you guys are watching the video, so it's obviously listed on the site now. And uh, just give me a call if you want to buy it. Anyway, thanks for watching.